huge, huge, huge shout out, guys, to Stevie Lynn for bringing you this video. Thank you so much, Stevie, for the support. You amazing, beautiful, wondrous numpkin, you. I am feeling a lot better. I've just got over gastric flu, which is why there's been a gap in videos. But I am here, and here is a lot more spooky stuff coming as we go into October. Chrism's going to be joining me again. It's going to be a wonderful time. She's not joining me in this video. But I really hope you guys enjoy this one. It's an excellent indie horror game. Shout out, of course, to our producer, Alice, of course, as well. Her link's in the description and on screen. Show Alice some love. She's a mega nomkin, as we all know she is a mega nomkin. And one more thing I would like to say is we have seven days left of the month at the time of recording. We only need four more subs to hit our Patreon goal. Just four in seven days. Even a buck helps us out. Please, if you can, go pledge. It'd be amazing to keep our streak going on that. Link in the description, and I really hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. All right, this is Fear the Spotlight. It's a relatively new indie horror game. Let's check it out. Do you see anyone? Nah, it's totally empty. Let's go. Oh, we got a very PS1 aesthetic. Library is this way, right? Yeah, it's just around the corner. Press left mouse button to interact. A sign next to the door. Faculty offices. Ugh. I was just in the counselor's office last week. Oh, right. She said your boots were a distraction? <laughs> yeah, well... At least I got to sit in detention all day instead of going to class. <laughs> library? Here we come. Oh, actually, the library's the other way? You really don't go to the library much. Oh, ha ha. I know you pretty much live at the library, but books are really not my scene. You say that, but you're really missing out. Okay, well, interesting dialogue so far. It's locked. Don't worry, I've got this. Expert master criminal as well we have here. So, how did you learn to pick locks? <laughs> My older brother, he was obsessed with lock picking videos. He taught me all sorts of things before he moved away. Oh yeah? What else did he teach you? How to use pepper spray, how to forge my parents' signature, <laughs> not to talk to cops. <sighs> you know, important stuff. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I can teach you too if you want. My parents would kill me if I ever forged their signature. <laughs> They'd kill you if they knew where we were right now. That's true. My English teacher did say I needed more life experience for my college applications. But I doubt he meant breaking and entering. Biff, get down. Oh no, is somebody there? <sighs> no. It's just a security camera. That is not a normal fucking security camera. Stay here with me until I say go. Okay. Go, Viv. It's fine. It's Get fine. Ready. Everything's fine. Run for it. Hey, I made it through the tutorial. That was a close one. <laughs> Great job. Vote for Jessica Ilias, a friend to all. Holy crap! The weather couldn't be more perfect. I hope the board looks as old and creepy as I imagine. It totally does. You're gonna love it. Whoa. <laughs> this must be it. Can you take it out? Yeah, one second. Oh, it's a Ouija board. We're breaking into a school to steal a Ouija board? The cabinet needs a key to be unlocked. Select item to use. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at this first. A letter to Amy. I'm nervous for her to read this. I really pulled my heart out in this letter. What does it say? I can't read it? I guess not. 
Do we? I need to go grab the key do for we, the display case. Do we have a crush in her or something? The librarian keeps it in the office. I'll be right back. Sounds good. I'll go find a spot to set up while you're doing that. We've written a love letter to Amy. It's the emergency exit. I don't want to set off the alarms. That's a good point. In school, I was definitely the troublemaker, but I was the troublemaker without friends. <laughs> hmm, where is the school office? Oh, there's a piece of paper here. Let's look around. A note between students. I hate it when Miss Richard takes away our phones. Seriously now, we have to write notes like we're cavemen? Lol. Do you see that bookworm and goth girl are hanging out now? No way. Kind of makes sense. I heard Vivian doesn't even have a cell phone. Isn't that crazy? No wonder she hangs out with Amy. She doesn't see all the weird satanic stuff she posts. There's a drawing of Amy with devil horns and fire behind her. <sighs> Did they leave this here on purpose? Things like Ouija boards were definitely, like, banned at my school when I was a kid. Like, you were, like, even for, like, talking about them and shit, to be honest with you. It's a key card reader. We don't have a key card either. Hmm. Locked. They keep our key cards behind the front desk. Oh. Here's where they keep our key cards. Won't there be like a record of our key card being scanned? I feel that's like a bad idea. Oh, there's us. Photo display. Student volunteer of the month, Vivian Singh. Oh boy, I forgot about this. Hope Amy doesn't see it. I won't hear the end of it. It's a key card reader. <laughs> the plans for the school renovations. They finished construction recently. You can't tell there was a fire here. You pick up the display key. A note written between teachers. Please be careful not to leave important documents laying around. I've moved them to the bottom filing cabinet drawer to keep them safe. Well, let's have a look, shall we? It's one of my inhalers. I must have left this behind. This will be useful if my lungs need relief. You pick up the... I remember the demo of this. So, yeah, there's a mechanic... It's a bit like guilt, where you need to take an inhaler to, like, calm your panic or you die. It's jammed. I think I can probably open with the right tool. Hmm... Don't think an inhaler is the right tool to open the filing cabinet, unfortunately. Alright, here we go. A flyer on the display stand. This month's display features the history of the occult. I was able to convince the librarians to showcase supernatural history because I knew Amy liked this stuff. I didn't realize it would lead to us breaking in and using it. That's an inhaler. Use. You take the spirit board. Got it. Now, where did Amy go off to? She's gonna jump scare us, calling it now. Oh, one second, I wanna just check something. Alright, all fixed. She's gonna jump scare us as we go up here, probably, I'm gonna guess.
Well, let's just sit in there. Got the spirit board. Yes. I mean, <sighs> welcome, Vivian. Please take your seat, and we can begin. Tonight, I will be your guide into the world of the supernatural. Are you ready? I... I think so. Just nothing too creepy, okay? <sighs> Don't worry. I've got everything under control. Just do whatever I say. Okay. Good. To start, go ahead and place the spirit board on the table. There we go. This thing looks even cooler up close. Okay, next, we have to set the right ambience. I'll light these first two candles. Now you light the other two. Got the box of matches. This can only end really well, the more you think about it. Like, I can't think of any scenario where anything bad will happen, Have so that's good. Have you ever actually done this before? Well, not exactly, but I've read a lot about it. Oh, what book? No books, just trusty old internet forums. Okay, well, there's one last thing. What is that? It's a rose I found in my locker last week. I don't know how it got in there, but it's all burnt and old. I have a feeling it has something to do with the school fire. Wait, Amy, is that true? I know it sounds crazy, but just play along. It's not that. I believe you. But do you think this is safe? <laughs> don't worry, Viv. If any ghosts actually show up, I'll protect you. Okay. Let's do this thing. Let's both put our fingers lightly on the planchette. Viv, you have to keep grabbing the planchette. Oh, sorry. Great. Just like that. Now repeat after me. Okay. With hands entwined and hearts aligned, we seek the realm of the undefined. With hands entwined and hearts aligned, we seek the realm of the undefined. Spirits unknown, let your presence be shown. Spirits unknown, let your presence be shown. That should be it. If there are any spirits here tonight, we invite you to talk to us. Spirit, are you here with us? Oh, wait, Viv, you have to keep your hands still. I'm not moving, I promise. You let the spirits do the answering. <laughs> oh, got it. That was me, by the way, that moved it to yes. <laughs> Are there any spirits here who wish to communicate? Please, show us a sign if you're here. I mean, so far, nothing is happening. I don't think this is working. What was that? Spirit, are you here with us? Oh, shit. Nothing's happening again. Oh, no. Yes, it is. That wasn't me this time. Was that you? No, it wasn't her. Holy crap. I can't believe it's working. Spirit, who are you? Are you the one I hear following me in the halls? Wait, what? Amy, has something been following you around? Spirit, are you dangerous? Oh, shit. Oh, shit! It's losing its mind! It's going crazy! Amy, I don't like this. I'm scared. It's going to be okay, Vivian. 
Take deep breaths. There was a man. Stop. Amy. Are you okay? I. I'll relight the candles. Yeah, sounds like a great idea. So far, this is pretty decent. I'm really impressed by this one. She's probably dead. Amy, where did you go? The bookcases have fallen over. That explains the loud banging noises. All right, that was a lot fucking closer than than anything like that. The room appears to have chosen. No, it hasn't changed shape because it's okay. It hasn't. It hasn't. It hasn't. This is this from before. A memorial to those who died in the fire in 1991. But something's wrong with all the portraits. Now that's how they looked after they were on fire. Obviously, <laughs> like just corpse photos. That didn't sound good. Uh, hello. Hello. It's an old looking desk. What's it doing here? Um. Hi. Oh look, a perfectly normal exit. Some sort of tunnel closed by bars. What is that cold bitter smell? It's just fine. Just having a little bit of a fly. And she's on fire. Excellent. Probably, uh, fire? probably should run. Probably need to run right now. I've got to get out of here. They've even got like the the way the game's frame rate runs uh, down like the PS1 way. Like it feels like I'm playing a PS1 game, even though this came out like last week. Survive the first encounter. Like, it mimics the camera shake and the texture sort of ripple of, like, the PS1 pretty well. You can actually increase... I've turned it down a bit because I wanted it to look a bit crisper, but you can make it look more like a PS1 game if you want. Like, there is, like, a full PS1 mode where you can make the textures, like, fucking wobble and shit if you want. And you can add in, uh, like, extra effects and stuff. Yeah, I, I just didn't do it because 
I wanted it to look look better on YouTube. There are papers and textbooks scattered on the ground. Wait, is this right? Why are the pages dated 1991? Where am I? This was the demo, I'm pretty sure. I remember dying a lot in the demo. This is very Southern Hill-esque. Statue of a girl with her hands reaching out. Why would somebody put this here? Because we have to put two things in the hands, obviously. It's a payphone. I can get out and call Amy to see if she's okay. Oh yeah, because we don't have a cell phone, right? That was established in the law in the note we found. Oh, hi! Little whatever you were, burn child. Flyer, it reads, Tryouts for Phantom of the Opera this Friday. It will be the biggest show Sunnyside's put on yet. All experience levels are welcome to try. Will you be the next star at Sunnyside? Flyer for Phantom of the Opera tryouts. Yep, I remember this bit already. But the demo might be different, I will say. It's a keycard reader. I don't know if we have the keycard anymore, right? Nah. We just have an inhaler for healing and uh, the letter, the love letter we wrote Amy. A note between students. Hey, are you trying to get out for the play this Friday? <laughs> no way. Heather's just going to get the lead again anyway. I overheard Chrissy practicing in the bathroom. She sounded pretty good. Maybe she will get the lead. The weird girl, as if. Plus Heather always gets her way. Mm. Ace, Akira, and Shundal, thank you, by the way. For your... Okay. All right. We did... That didn't happen. That's fine. There's a tube of welding glue in slot B34. So we need a coin to get the welding glue out. A note between students. We're going to hang out in the underground tunnels again. You in? No, duh. I heard there are spy holes in every class somewhere down there. Isn't that creepy? Gross. Let's find them. This is a grave. The rose is stuck on something. I can get a better look if I dig the dirt. The faded headstone reads, Light of my life, fire of my heart, my sin, my soul. It's probably... Probably nothing. You take the office key card. The note says, Hey Dana, could you return the toolbox to the repair guy that came last week? He left in a hurry and forgot his stuff. Said he heard ghosts in the underground area. It must have been those kids again. Someone was in that. Someone stepped up onto the seat in that toilet there. There is a tryout fryer soaked in water on the ground. There's also a diary page that reads, I'm so anxious about Friday. Phantom of the Opera is one of my favorite shows of all time. Heather was so angry when she found out I was practicing. I already don't have friends, and now everyone glares at me to stay on Heather's good side. I just want to be the star, so maybe Ro will finally notice me. That was a cool little scare, that. I like that a lot. It's a keycard reader. Well, we have one now. It's an incident report that reads, Students involved, Heather Moore, Chrissy Castro. In the locker room, students witness Heather locking Chrissy in a bathroom stall. Heather kept the door blocked while other students dumped a bucket of water over Chrissy. There's a sticky note on top of the report. It reads, Don't file this report. We don't want to deal with the superintendent Moore again. Budgets are tight enough as it is. So I'm guessing that um, Heather's dad is superintendent of the school. So she can do whatever the fuck she wants. We need a screwdriver. Oh, there's a toolbox here, so probably a good place to get it. Ah, oh, but it's locked with a code. 
Hmm. It's the night between teachers. Hey Dinah, could you check if all the repair guy's tools are in the box? There should be pliers and a screwdriver inside. The toolbox password is 001. Alright, well that was significantly easier than I anticipated it being to find that password. Pair of broken pliers. If I repair the broken pliers, I can take them, but we need the glue from the vending machine. Got the screwdriver. We can't take the pliers until we repair them. Which is stupid, because we could just take them with us, then repair them at the vending machine, but I guess not. I should be able to remove it with the right tool. Hmm. What could it possibly be? All right, what's through here? Let's have a quick look, shall we? A note to the principal. I saw some kids trying to sneak into the tunnels again. Luckily, Crane was there and stopped them before they got hurt. He said he'd make an eye on, keep an eye on the sewer entrance to make sure kids don't go in there. That must be what we saw earlier, maybe? The window to the boys' locker room is open. Oh shit, I don't want to go through. Go back. Especially with that music, I don't want to go through. Oh, that said, it doesn't look like there's anything here, so I guess we are going through into the boys' locker room. The Forbidden Zone! This is bad. This is really fucking bad. A note between students. I can't believe Chrissy, the weirdo, has the guts to practice in front of me. Right? Who's she kidding? No way is she beating you, Heather. Totally, I'll make sure my dad talks to Mr. Crane just in case. I'm so jealous your dad being superintendent is so cool. I don't like the fucking music here. Doesn't seem to be any other items, though. Oh, we have a... I thought we had a drain puzzle, but we don't. We have a uh, remove the drain with screwdriver puzzle, which we can manage, probably. I do quite like these little zoom-in effect things. They, they're they're kind of nice. This definitely feels like it, it, the, the tribute material it's based on, you know. Got two quarters. We can now go and buy the glue. The fire is back. Excellent. What the fuck is that? That is a man with a flashlight for a head. A searchlight for a head, not a flashlight. Like a security guard, maybe? Sorry, I got seen, but... He saw me, but I got under here before he actually properly saw me. Survived the first encounter with the spotlight. B-34.
Okay, we can keep the other quarter for something else. You reach in and grab the tube of welding glue. That didn't sound good. We already read this, right? Yeah. That was kind of creepy. There was definitely a noise over here. Oh. He's going to be here because there's hiding points here now. Alright, let's repair these pliers. And hopefully... I don't actually know what these are for, though. A pair of broken pliers. If I pair them, take them... Yeah. You pick up a pair of pliers. I have no idea what these are for. And I don't like the fact the music stopped. It makes me somewhat trepidatious for survival. Oh my god. She just digs with her fucking hands. Oh my god. All right. I need to find a way to pry open the fingers. We can do that with the pliers. She definitely would not do that the first time. The pliers should do the trick. This is not working, is it? Oh, I see. Oh, that's gross. Pick up the metal rise, that's what the statue must want. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. We made it. Just gotta book it, just gotta book it. Well, this doesn't look too good, does it? A burn letter and a rose. How did I never notice you before the audition? You really are something special. Your secret admirer. Yeah, this sounds really fucking bad and creepy. Might be coming from an adult. To a kid. Just got a feeling. The hands are reaching out as if she's waiting to give her something. And she wants the rose. Unlock the rose door. And we can use the other coin on the payphone. 25 cents. Bargain! Perfect. Amy's phone number is Called. Are you safe? I've been searching for you. Of course I am, Viv. Where are you? I'm so confused. The school looks completely different and... I just finished getting ready. Please, tell me you'll make it to the theater to see me. Getting ready? Theater? What are you talking about? Don't worry, Viv. Everything is going to be spectacular. Just don't be late for the big show tonight at the Weber Building Theater. Wait! Amy! All right, some good voice acting. Oh, we're outside. Outside? What, in my video game? 
a school newspaper, cast list for Phantom of the Opera, starring Heather Moore, Raul Rousseau, understudies Chrissy Castro, Andrew Brown. So Chris, uh, so Chrissy got the understudy job for the role that she was uh, pissing off Heather about. The one that Heather was being a massive bitch about. And they're both trying to impress the same guy, potentially, Raul. A diary page. Of course Heather got the part. Mr. Crane's hand is so excited after her audition, too. Now Heather and Real get to play the leads together. I don't stand a chance with him. Who am I kidding? I just have to settle for the understudy. Got a feeling Mr. Crane might be a little bit sus. More than a little bit sus. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. A note between students. Whoa, did you see they changed the underground tunnel entrance cover? It's the crazy looking lock. Yeah, I heard Crane got it installed because we kept breaking in. What a buzzkill. Oh, smoke and fire coming from in there, lovely. So jumbo air conditioning unit isn't making any sound. Oh, we need to turn it on again to filter the smoke out, or we'll probably die from the smoke, I'm gonna guess. Mm. Why can't I hold these up? The power light is off. Yeah, I understand this. Hmm. You missing something here? It's a metal placard, a gymnasium. We might have to go in there, I guess. We definitely can't go into the main building yet because it's on fire, and we need to turn on the AC to do that. Let's let me go to the gym, though. Wow, this looks like a avoiding a monster it's all waiting to happen, doesn't it? It's a display for students to take the pledge to stop bullying. A bunch of paper hands with students' names are glued on. A single hand is missing from the center of the board. Sounds great. I see the thing on the stage, but let's have a look around first. A diary page. Someone left me a secret admirer note and a beautiful rose. I thought I saw Raoul looking at me in class. Maybe he did notice me after all. It's the fucking teacher. Bathrooms. I need to find a way to raise the gate I can get inside. The fucking teacher is sending the kid roses. Because he's like taken with her after the performance, Chrissy. Fuck. doesn't look good, does it? It's a tumbler for a raffle, but it won't move because a hand crank is missing. Well, we don't have a hand crank, so... A pink paper hand, but somebody ripped it to pieces. The name Heather is written on it. Ah, she's the bully, obviously, yeah. Power diverter. Not exactly what this is. It's like I flip the switch, I can turn on the HVAC panel. I will do in a minute. Let's have a look down here first. I just want to miss anything. So we're going to turn off the power to this area. You pick up the fuse. Okay. It's a note from the maintenance department. Hi Fred, we're a bit short staffed right now, so no one can train you. The fuse box breaks, you need to replace the fuses. Everything else you need is right here in the fuse box. Jim. Oh, there's more here. Coded... Coupled attenuations? A poster with some technical jargon I don't understand. It looks like there are numbers for each symbol. Oh no. And an ad for high velocity toilet flushes. There's a sticky note attached. Maybe this will help those backed up toilets. Password is 3451 for something. Oh, I see. So it's... Two lines kissing, cross, weird clips, hang on, what the fuck, I've already forgotten what the fucking thing was. Three, four, five, one. 
So yeah, kissing cross, weird eclipse, voltage. So. I just knocked myself in the head there. It felt like I did. Huh. I understand completely everything that's in front of me here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Wonderful, in fact. Alright, I don't know what this is. Oh, shit. Okay, so I need to turn on certain things. So I need the top row to get the bathrooms and the storage, which is probably where I'd like to check first. So... We have the beefies, right? Oh, hang on. It'll probably tell me here, right? I have no idea what this is! Tee hee hee hee. I have never seen anything like, like this in my life. I saw the same symbols on the multimeter on the left. But how am I meant to know what needs what? Because I don't. Yeah, this doesn't help me at all. I don't understand on the basic level what this is. Oh! Hooray! That did something. So, Wiggly 100? There we go. I had to put it in a cross. Oh, thank fuck the last one's easier to do. All right, let's check out storage in the bathrooms. God, I gotta do that multiple times. I have never seen anything like that in my entire life ever before this moment. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Restrooms. The gate's stuck, I had to find another way to raise it. Are you fucking kidding me? Here's storage. We can go in here now. Wow, what a lovely room. Alright, we have another code lock. I need the key to unlock the storage cabinet. We do not have that key. Oh, great. There's a crying dead child in here. And a flashlight. Ah. Ah, uh, we might be able to go underneath anyway, it looks like, and round from here. Yeah, I don't really want to do that, but still. Alright. In we go. This looks completely safe. Well, I just saved, so let's see if I die going in here. The door won't budge. Hello? Are you okay in there? There's someone there. There's like a model of a person. Oh, fuck.
You take the ring of cabinet keys. Well, we know what that's for. I don't like that noise at all. Someone's swimming. Swimming in the toilet. Oh, we need the drain cleaner, right? I think I see something at the bottom, but I'm not reaching there until I flush out the black sludge. Yeah, we need the drain cleaner the janitor was talking about. A notice between students. Raul totally has a crush on Chrissy, right? He's been staring at her in class. What, the quiet chick? No way. Oh, God, that's going to make things even worse for her. Regardless, I think we can open the cabinet now in here, so we should go and do that. And hopefully not get killed by the fucking spotlight monster. I've only seen it once so far. It's bound to show up again at some point. Um... This is the wrong... Oh, no. Yeah, of course it is. I started using... I was like, oh, I'm going to use the, bolt, the, the, the pliers to cut the really big train. Ah, you pick up the fuse. The D. <laughs> the D fuse. Got him. Got him. Smooth, huh? Smooth as fuck. Alright, so we got the D. <laughs> um, so that means we can presumably do restore the power to another part of the fucking building and shit. I was kind of hoping to find the toilet cleaner. But I'll take it. This reminds me think of like the job fairs and shit they used to make me go to at school, like when I was in my last like stint at school. Like, what do you want to do? None of this shit. None of this fucking garbage shit. All right, let's try the middle path now, I guess. Oh, we gotta get through the first one first, right? Ah, well, we don't have... We're missing one still. We only have the D. So... There's somewhere else that we can go at this point. Maybe we can do the bottom one. Oh my god, I just have to flush it. I just had to flush the shit. The drain cleaner thing threw me off. I just had to flush the fucking toilet manually. Oh, fuck. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? It talks. place got a lot more uh, interesting. Alright, I got more of this bollocks. That doesn't make any fucking sense. So... It's Omega? Whatever the fuck that is. And then one... No?
All right, pool and the office are now open. We need two more fuses. Shout out to uh, Ravnos there, spent saving us uh, 20 minutes of uh, me wandering around for the fuck to do. Oh, great. Alright, so this is the pool. Well, I hear a phone. Or did I imagine that? Wow, this looks like a lovely pool. Straight out of the pool from Corpse Body here, lovely. The pool was filled with some sort of black goop. I don't want to touch that stuff. I don't I don't blame you. Alright, so what have we got going on up here? A note between students. Did you see that crazy accident with Heather slipping on the diving board? They're being really careful here now. Mr. Fitz even shut off a drain pump and put the valve in his office. Okay, so we're gonna have to go to his office first. Wherever the fuck that is. Oh, it, it might just be here, right? Watch that let him in. Let the monster in. Oh, it could be in this office, actually. Yeah, the pool office. Okay, shut the fuck up. Hello? <laughs> Amy! Do you really think I date you, Viv? Oh, shit. I know about that sad, sappy letter you wrote me. You don't even have the guts to say it on my face. No. No, way. I know this isn't you, Amy. Just go home, Viv. I'm happy here. <laughs> so happy. I'll save you, no matter what. Even if you do hate me. Aww. It's a sticky note. Password reminders, year both teams won gold. An incident report about a student who was injured. Heather slipped while on the diving board and broke her leg. She stated there was an oily substance on the diving board that caused her to slip. Unfortunately, we could not find evidence of the substance. We believe this to be an accident. It was definitely not an accident. Okay, so there's a safe we need the code for. The year both teams won. Uh, gold, girl swim team gold, 1980. Boy swim team gold, 1987. Girl swim team gold, 1990. Girl swim team gold, 19, 1987 is the code. And we got the pool pump handle. For giving the pool a good old fashioned pump. I'm glad he isn't out here. But we gotta figure out where the pump is. Oh, this looks promising. That's not it. Okay, everything's fine though. Everything is fine. This place is a very numb place, you know. I was... Three years old in 1987. Where is the pump? I would imagine the pump would be next to the pool. Is that is that crazy of me? Not an expert on pools and pool pumps, but if I was a pool pump. I imagine I'll be near the pool, like here maybe. There's a missing handle on the device. Well, it's just as well we found it. Oh yeah. Pump away.
I don't like that noise at all. I do not like that noise at all. Oh great, a chair and a desk at the bottom of here. Brilliant. Oh, another creepy note. A burnt letter in Rose. Dear Chrissy, understudy no longer. It's your turn to shine. Your secret admirer. So, uh, he took out, uh, whatever her face is. He pick up the raffle crank. He took out what's her face in order to, uh, give Chrissy the role because she was the understudy. Oh, well, that's... horrible. <laughs> No uh, fuse down here, which has me a little bit worried, unless they're both in the raffle thing. Oh no, we, we unlocked the staff office too, which is somewhere else. We haven't been there yet. Okay. Using the crank while that guy's walking around is going to be a major pain in the fucking ass. Oh, no, no it won't be because he's not there anymore. He's right here. Go, 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 go! Okay. I was wondering how they were going to make me be able to do this puzzle with him here, but the answer is move him into the pool. Alright, we need one more fuse. Which is in the office, wherever the fuck that is. I actually genuinely don't know where the office is. Like, it would make sense if it was this door, but... Like, we're not getting to this door, right? In a million fucking years. Huh. I'm a little concerned I left it in that room with him. It's possible that we left it in that room with him. Let's go and put this fuse in and see what see if anything happens. Oh my god. Get in the hole. Yeah, it definitely is in the pool area. It's definitely back in that room with him. God, I've made my life a lot harder than I needed to, I think. Let's go and see how badly this turns out. It must be in here. Along with Fuckface. That's his uh, legal name, by the way. Alright, he starts there. Oh, okay. Oh, I never went up here. Oh, he did. Did he see me? Oh, he totally did. I'm, my first death is coming. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! He burns your face off? Oh no, what the fuck? I tackled him down. He sucked me to him though, which is kind of weird. Alright, that's a bit unreasonable. He sucks you to him like a fucking boomerang. What the fuck is this? It's not an instant kill. Surprisingly. Bullshit! I was so close to the door. Alright, that's the end. It must be in him. He sucks you to him really hard. I wonder if it's on this shelf or something and I have to move something to get it. Doesn't look like it, right? Can't, that just means move off. Ah, oh, here it is. I missed this completely. We, we have the key still. There we go. 
This will be it. This will be the missing item. There we go. Fuck stealth. Absolutely fuck stealth. Just need to fucking hoof it. Doesn't matter. Alright. Final fuse. Excellent. Perfect. So it's Omega One. All right, now we can turn off, turn on the A, the HVAC to drain the smoke clouds out of the gym. Not Jim. This is going to be really bad, because he's going to be out here. Is that it? I guess the HVAC system could have power now. Yeah, he's going to be out here, though. I'm ready. Oh, hi, guys. The dead kids are here. The dead child children. Looks like if you put your flashlight on them, they don't go for you. You have to scare them off with the flashlight, maybe, if they are a danger. I don't actually know if they are or not, but we're just going to book it and make sure that that's not the case. It is making a sound, you fucking idiot. Ah, I guess we need to go through the window. Well, maybe not. Maybe we can just go in through the front door and that's just a sign to know the smoke is off. Yeah. Smoke's cleared out. The fire has not, though. Obviously. I mean. There's the theater. That must be the theater Amy was talking about. Yeah, I'm trying to click on the screw. There we go. Go. A counselor incident form. A few students were bullying Chrissy in the arts hallway, but Raoul stopped the fight. But both students were counseled on the situation in the back in class. So glad the anti-bullying assembly had an effect. Uh-huh. Oh shit. Okay, so we need to turn on the sprinkler system. There are fire sprinklers on the ceiling. I can get into the ghetto and find a way to turn them on. Oh great, the secret sewer entrance is here, wonderful. I was gonna try this door over here, but... The doors of the hallway are locked, and we need a key. Well, I guess we're going down into the sewer then. The best part of any video game is the sewer level, as we all know.
Hi, how's it going? Oh, keys, thanks. The hallway keys from the statue's hand. I feel like this is a terrible idea. Can we replace them? The bust is cracked and the face is missing. Okay. I'll be back. I promise. The doors to the hallway are locked. I've heard this game commits a cardinal sin before the final boss fight, by the way. There is no checkpoint before the boss fight. You have to watch the cutscene every time you die. So I can see that being already a key feature that I look forward to experiencing. Drama class. I'm pretty sure this area was in the demo, but it was like a different layout they had for everything in the demo. What's going on with this rug? I mean, there's a secret door underneath it that needs a uh, strange key to open. Degrees and awards. The teacher must have been really serious about theater. It's some kind of construction contract. Description of work. Installation of a prop chandelier. Additional notes. Client requests a chandelier to be installed hanging over the stage. Three ropes were used to secure the fixture. If you understand the risks, please accept this agreement. The contract is signed by several members of the school staff. So this is probably what started the fire, but I'm guessing our, uh, our creepy uh, teacher who is a word that I can't say on YouTube without getting demonetized, uh, is uh, responsible. A note between students. Rio, thank you for standing up for me last week. I'm really excited to be in the play together. Mr. Crane says I need extra acting lessons, so I had to stay late after school with him most days. But maybe we can practice so they get something on the weekend? Chrissy. Judging by all this shit in here, he's going to be in this corridor as well. The debris is too heavy for me to lift on my own. I need like a like a car jack or some shit. A note between students. Is it me or has practicing for the new play been really intense? No, we've all been feeling the stress. The drama teacher's been micromanaging everything. I can't wait until this play is over. A note between students. Did you see Riol and Chrissy hanging out together now? It's not because they're both leads in the play. Well, I see them giggling together and passing notes in class. Feels like more than just friends. Ha, <laughs> where to go, weird girl? He must be the most popular guys at school. I can plug in cables here. Okay, so we need... Wow, we need a lot of shit here. Alright, so we need, like, AV cables and stuff. Oh, great, a music puzzle. Go play the sets, go marching in. Da, 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 da. Oh, when the saints go marching sing in. Do, 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 bo, bo. Ba, do, bo, 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 bo. Anyway, uh, I know this poster. New practice schedule for Phantom of the Opera. All orchestra students participating must attend each session. Jeez, these poor students had to practice so much. Uh, by the way, we probably have to play... Is it probably just the keys with blood? No, maybe not. I always play the Sensko Marching In on the piano. Because it's the only song that I could play on piano. <laughs> Well, it seems like I can remember how to play on piano, for like, in my memory. Art class. A 
painting of a couple holding hands. It looks like someone is watching them in the distance. Oh, fuck. A diary page. I can't believe it. Rael asked me to be his girlfriend. We made it official and bought promise necklaces at the mall. Now kissing him on stage will be even more romantic. There are hearts drawn all over the page. Well, this is bad. I'm guessing the teacher flips the fuck out. Oh, here's the jack we need. Okay. I'm gonna say this. I've never used a card jack before in my life, so I was wondering how they function there for a minute. <laughs> oh, great. He's here. In a really small space. Oh, he's leaving fire behind him. Is he gonna leave? No. Of, course, of course he fucking isn't. I really need him to fuck away off. He's not moving away from the door, is he? Jack need to go in the hall over here, right? Okay, I was gonna say, let me use the item. here to check out. What's going on with this mirror? It looks like it was hung differently from the others. Okay, well we can get rid of it. Really enjoying this game, by the way. Like, I got lost a few times, but other than that, I really like it. You pick up the face piece. You got half of the face. Oh, there's a hole there. A diary page. I've got another admirer letter. I thought Rael was my admirer, but now I'm sure it isn't him. I'm so scared. I feel like I'm constantly being watched. I should show this letter to Raul. There was an eye there! Watching. Oh, okay. Both these go to the same place. That doesn't sound good. A burned letter in Rose. How could you break my heart? He will just hold you back. I won't let you ruin our special night. So, out in a mad fit of jealousy, creepy teacher guy has decided to burn down the school in response to this, which is insane. I mean, obviously. Is it just the whole face I found, or just part of it? It's just part of it, so we miss we're missing some more shit. Oh, we still have the jack too, so it's used for something else. Creepy teacher is jealous of Raul, yeah. I'm guessing probably wants to kill Raul, I'm gonna be honest with you. Judging by his behavior. I'm gonna just check the room with the piano and stuff again, because I feel like I'm missing something in here. I'm gonna play around with the TV again for a second and see if there's something else I'm missing. Hey, what was this? I already looked at this, right? I like the way that the main character hasn't picked up on all the weird shit yet. She's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we need cables, but we don't have any. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Can we eject a vi uh... Oh, we need a tape as well. We need a tape and cables. Oh, shit. Judging by this type of game, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the tape is a tape of the incident, and it will reveal the truth of what happened. Um, 
It could also give us the piano code, that's true. Uh, I don't know what else to do except go and give the woman back the bit of her face that we've got, but we obviously need to find more of her face. It's very inconvenient when you don't have a face. This just goes to the other side of the toilets, right? It's just this where we were a minute ago. Yeah. Oh, he's coming. Oh lord, he's coming! Which means I'm probably meant to go that way. We don't have anything to open the trap door in this room. You know, playing the keys from the most blood to least bloody actually sounds like a plausible thing that we should do. Probably gonna die now because Dickhead's in the corridor waiting for me. But, uh, yeah, fuck it. Just running at the moment because I realised that I made a big bad. A big bad boo-boo. May as well go and shove this in the face of the woman while we wait, yeah. While we, while we uh, wait for, while, while we let him reset. I feel like I make my life a lot harder than it needs to be in this game. Who knows, maybe she only wants a bit of her face back. There's three bits. There's three bits of her face. So one music, one drama. Oh yeah, we can use the jack here. Oh, that's awesome. So here's some more progress. Digital media. Oh, we might find cables and shit in here that we need, right? A message on the screen says, please insert disk to save file. Right. Transparency printers are now available for use. You can print out transparencies used for overhead projectors. Use the designated computers for printing when you have a file ready. Well, there's the printer, but we don't have a file ready. A diary page. I can't stop thinking about the letter I got before I all went missing. I tried to tell my pet. Oh, he went missing? But I tried to tell my parents about it, but the note is gone. I couldn't find it. They don't believe me. I'm too scared to go to anyone else. I need to do what I can to find Ro. So Ro was killed before the fucking fire. A stack of missing posters. Missing. Ro Rousseau. Last seen at Sunnyside High. Oh my god. So he killed the kid and dumped him in the sewer, probably. He killed the kid and dumped him in the sewer before the performance. Is he playing the- No way. No way is he playing the lead, right? The teacher. Is that why he did it? A display stand. I'll use the computers on the table to print documents. I understand the concept of this. In fact, this is right up my- My generation, as it were. Alright, nothing else in here at the moment. We need a disc and shit. Literature class. Oh wow, this looks great. Some kind of box puzzle with Romeo and Juliet smooching. An overhead projector slide that we need to print out to get a code that's on the wall there. Excellent. Student delinquency. Student name Raoul Rousseau. Reason for delinquency. Unexcused absences. They're not been able to make contact with students. Yeah, that's right. Let's threaten his parents because their son's missing. A note between students. Dude, people have been freaking out since Raoul went missing. Yeah, Chrissy's been in the media room printing all those posters. It's so sad. You think she could have done something? No way. She's too depressed. Maybe he ran away to get away from her. Haha. <laughs> 
so much gossiping and kid goes missing and they're joking about it so cruel that is um a completely normal response unfortunately all right looks like there's nothing else in here at the moment Oh, this is fucking bad. I see what we have to do. Oh, guys. Guys, you see what we have to do. Biology. School announcement. All students must return home if you're not involved in an after-school activity. For your safety, please follow these rules. Do not talk to strangers. Walk together in groups. If a stranger approaches you, just say no. Guessing they realised that Raul wasn't just playing hooky at that point. Oh, great. A small, dissected bird. The organs look pristine. A biology book. For our next project, we'll dissect a lovebird. Lovebirds are known for choosing one mate for life. If we break their heart, will they be able to move on and find a new mate? I can't actually do anything with it at the moment. There is a child in a cage in the middle of this room, I just noticed. Excellent. <clears throat> Cage was damaged in the fall. There's something wrapped around the mannequin's wrist. I can bend the bars with the right tool. Maybe this? Yeah. You take the TV cables. Okay, so we have the TV cables now, but we need a VHS tape as well, right? Oh, he's coming still. Oh, he's coming. Alright, this is the last room, so there should be, theoretically, something in here that's worthwhile. He's totally spawning in this room, by the way, on the way out. You can tell just by the layout of the room that he's going to be in here. Look at this shit. Here's the VHS tape. Alright, so we know where to go, at least. A diary page. Without rule, I feel so broken. Why am I sitting than the play? I only auditioned because I wanted him to notice me. And now he's gone. There's no point in doing the show anymore. I'm telling Mr. Crane today that I quit. Oh, that's what triggered the fire, because she quit. He's totally coming in, right? I guess not. I think he just locked the door on me. The door is locked. Excellent. What the fuck was that? Something just came out the roof. Hi! I've got a strange key. Hi. Is that meant to be Raul, do you think? Or at least one of the burn victims, right? Hi, guys. I'm just gonna check this locker, okay, in case this is what you want me to open. No, it's not. Okay. Alright, we've st we still gotta get past Fuckface again. I don't know if it goes down this bit. It does. You can see the burn on the floor where it goes. So, we're going through here to the AV club. We got that he 
he's here too. got damaged for the first time. I'm not going to use the inhaler for a minute. I guess I have to because it's insisting I do. I mean, I'm guessing this guy's dead, by the way. I'm guessing this guy died. I'm guessing he died because a light fell on his head, which is why he's got the fucking thing for the head. And this is just like the remnants of what he did, like his spirit or whatever. Now, the strange keys for the floor in the other room, I just realized. got an inhaler recharge, a diary page. I tried telling Mr. Crane that I quit, but he wouldn't accept it. He said I couldn't quit the show, and it was my time to shine. It sounded like a letter I got. I have a feeling you know something about Raoul's disappearance. I'm not sure how that didn't hit me, but whatever. Go, 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 go. I need to get in the door on the left here and open the door. Pretty sure this is what the strange key is for. down there there for a minute, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a placard with a name on it. It's too old and faded to read. I can't read any of the others here at the moment. Ah, it's a disc. Blank floppy disc for the other puzzle. Hi. I'm doing my best, all right, day kids. I'll try not to let you down.
All right. Oh fuck, he's everywhere. He is fucking everywhere now. Documents being saved to disk, please wait. Thank you, by the way, for all the gub subs and resubs, guys. Sergeant Tin Man, thank you very much. Thank you, Tomato, as well. How did he not see me? He spot. I was looking at chat! I need to get to the thing at the back, though, right, and load it up now. Retrieve it from the printer in the top in the side area now. Only, it won't be a one-hit kill, though. This is only my first hit, right, in this room. We're good, 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 we're good. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 it's this door. Woo! All right. save that for now. I think I've got something here. Love blooms in bright light. My cage hides in the deep dark. Curtain rises at dusk. Betrayal came before the show's start. Something to do with this box, I guess, probably? I don't really know. Alright, so love blooms in the bright light. Got it. What's the next bit? My cage hides in deep dark and curtain rises at dusk. Ah, but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Betrayal came before the show starts, so in the daytime for this, that as well? I guess not. Oh, maybe here. There we go. Final piece of the mask. A diary page. Opening night will be my chance to find out if Mr. Crane is hiding something. While he's busy, I'll take his bag and see if I can find anything about Raul. I hope I'm wrong about everything. Thank you for the tip, Moktomoto. I have no idea what sea land is, Al.
All right. He's here now. So he's in every area now, it looks like. I will say, I hate the fucking filter on the screen when you're slightly hurt. It's very annoying. All right, we have all the pieces of the face. And we probably are right near the end of the game, judging by the information we found so far. Oh great, a tunnel to hell. Repair the stone face. Oh, there's a curtain down here. Is this his little Phantom of the Opera type room? Looks like it, huh? Oh, this is how we do the sprinkler system. Anything else in here first? Let's have a look around. This photo album's completely empty. Excellent. An old disposable camera with no pictures remaining. It's more of those red envelopes I've been seeing around. It's a stack of blank papers. The premium texture has a soft grain. That's where he was sending the love letters. A stack of blank VHS tapes. An expensive looking home stereo. Did someone live here? Hard luck on this gate needs a key. Do I have any keys left? No. This is probably where he kept Raul, I'm gonna guess. A sewer tunnel. It's collapsed and totally blocked. It looks like the bars were sawed off at some point. Huh. place is huge. I'm going to go back to the sprinkler system for a second in case there's something I can do with it. This has been great. Um, very good. Well made, creepy, good story. Like, I, I like it. I've, I've just really enjoyed pretty much all of this, really. Zone 1 is a video feed of the dressing room. Zone 2 is a video feed of the theater entrance. Zone 3 is just static. And Zone 4 is a video feed of the girls' locker room. Excellent. The utility tunnel's back with notes written all over it. Usual hangout spot enters at 8 a.m. Use bathrooms in a Lexus hallway. An intricate set of pipes. That There's a missing pipe. Okay, so until we have the pipe, we can't do the puzzle. All right, that's fine. And then we need to route the water correctly, judging by that map. Excellent. There's a hole in the wall here. Looks like someone dug it out. I can crawl through. It's going to go into the rafters above the theater. No, it's not. It's going to go to the dressing room, which is just as bad, if not worse. Pick up the prison cell key. A diary. I did it. I went through Mr. Crane's bag. It was a small key and some photos, all of me. I feel sick. One of the photos was taken from where the mirror is in this room. I know there's an opening behind it. The show's about to start, but I need to find out what's behind there. I hope I can find Raul. Guessing that is not the case. A burned letter and rose. My star, tonight is our night. All the pain will have been worth it. Fuck me. What an absolute fucking prick. Some old dresses and costumes, they're beautiful but covered in dust. Well, we've got the key now to the cell, so let's go down there.
small cot. It's old and dirty and has a smell I can't fi quite figure out. This looks bad, doesn't it? A barrel filled with trash and ashes. It looks like someone was burning whatever was inside. But there's like a necklace there. I want the necklace. You take the bloody pipe. I can't pick up the necklace, even though it's right there, which is annoying. Because you can definitely see it, right? Was she wearing that in other pictures? I'm gonna fucking heal, because it's driving me nuts, her whinging. We have one heal. Excellent. And uh, this is probably what I'm going to guess is the final boss fight. Or not. There's more. Another poster of Amy. Come see our new star Amy Tanaka on stage now. Do you think these are dangerous? I think these are probably dangerous. Oh, another inhaler. I will have that. A note between students. I'm so glad Amy replaced Chrissy for the show. Chrissy didn't understand Crane's vision. She was too obsessed with her dead boyfriend. Yeah, what a loser. At least they're together now. I'm glad that chandelier crushed her. She deserved it. This can't be real. Oh, fuck. What a fucking shit show, by the way, this all is. This is so fucked. our final battle, without a doubt. Amy? I can't believe I actually found you. I'm coming to get you. Hold on just a little longer. <laughs> High school was the worst experience of my life, that said. Compared to what these guys are going through, it was clearly nothing.
hate the way it looks around for you. Like it's uh, it's scanning, you know. Like it fucking knows, you know. All right, next generator is there. to move it. I don't know when I should go and when I shouldn't. It's like waiting. I think I'm fucked. Oh, I was so close. Holy shit. there because I wasn't paying attention. Still got two full heals if I needed to. Me. She's gonna whinge now the whole fucking time. Right, now I need to get all the way across again. biscuit. Gonna heal again, fuck it. the other way again, I'm gonna go. Yep, 
Okay. Amy. Don't worry. I'll get you out of there. I've got a feeling there's more to this than this. Either that or I'm about to get a really bad ending. about a monster that locked me up in this cage. This is all real? I'll catch you up later. First, we have to get you out of here. Yeah, this is not over yet. You're not taking her away from me. I won't. Loser again. Wow, well, this looks shit. It's that thing, the one that put me in here. Crap, what are we gonna do? I have to end this for good. It's the only way we can get this thing to stop. Be careful, Viv. Mess him up. Now, how am I going to do this? I don't fucking know. <laughs> well, that wasn't good. I don't even know what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, get him in the water, maybe? <gasps> I have no idea what to do, like on a basic level, unfortunately, so I'm probably fucked. Oh, I see. We get him in the water. There we go. This is pretty shite. Like, unfortunately, I feel that boss fights are usually almost always shit. And most of the time, I quit games while I'm playing them. I won't. I'm hopefully not going to quit there. Fuck off! on it enough? No, apparently you're not. Bullshit.
It, this wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so cripplingly boring as well. But yeah. This game has been getting slammed a bit for this fight, I will say that. I've seen quite a few people complaining about it. And I 100% agree with it. But, it's doable. Like, I've seen, I've seen worse. He always jumps a step back. Okay, so always a step back. So if I stand here... Don't care, I got him. I need something hard to break the glass. I actually don't- what am I going to be using? We'll take it. Yeah! Could have been a lot worse. He did just save, so the boss is the boss is beaten. Holy crap! Do you have any idea where we're going? Anywhere but here? I think he's a bit pissed about dying. No problem at all. No big deal. Anything that happened. I don't remember much. There was that lightning crash, and it, it, it all becomes hazy after that. I don't know what that thing wanted, but I was so scared. Thank you for coming after me. I don't think I would have made it out without you. Amy. 
I was so scared too. Scared I'd never see you again. Scared I wouldn't be able to tell you. All night, I've been wanting to share something with you. I even wrote it all down because I was afraid to say it, but I'm done being afraid. <sighs> Amy, I like you. Aww. You know, in that way. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Tonight, I was just trying hard to impress you. I wanted you to like me so badly. And then they get expelled and their lives are ruined. I feel the same way. But you're the one who's impressive. <laughs> Even more than I already knew. Now let's get the hell out of here. This is very cute. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, let's go, but no, don't say it like that. Can we avoid anything spooky from now on? <laughs> I mean, definitely no more spirit boards, but it's a scary movie, okay? Uh, it depends. The candle's gonna fall down and burn down the entire school. <laughs> That was it. I really like this. I thought this was excellent. Uh, a little bit of a blip with the final boss fight, but it's it's not that bad at all. Like it's fine. Um, really liked it. I think this was excellent for a indie horror game. Actually, really, really good. I give it a I give it like a, a I give it an eight out of ten. Genuinely, it's a great tribute to PS1 style stuff. It, it, it runs well, it looks good for what it is. It's a great little story. Uh, it has some really fun moments, and it's just brilliant. It's, I just really think this is uh, this is really, really good. I, I, I loved it. And it was just the right length as well. It, um, it went like uh, just how, just the right length. Like just like about two and a half hours for everything. Completely great. Just great. Actually, Amy. Oh, it's more. I've got one more thing I want to do before we go. <laughs> okay, don't take too long. Oh shit! I'm in control again. We're not done. Oh, we need to open this. Records for overdue books and finds. Juicy gossip, but I don't have time now. Faculty records for past librarians. Librarians? Librarians. It's jammed. I could pry it open with the right tool. The folder is labeled 1991. Newspaper interview the student on opening night. I was towards the back of the theater when the fire happened. Everyone saw Chrissy running on stage. We thought it was the show starting, but she wasn't even in costume. She started yelling for help, and just then the chandelier above her crashed down and burst into flames. It was awful. It's a newspaper article about the fire. Tragedy at Sunnyside. It's still a mystery who untied the ropes that held up the chandelier. Unfortunately, many witnesses backstage did not survive the fire. A fold labelled 1995. It's a note from Superintendent Moore. As you know, Sunnyside High is still struggling with the admission rates after the fire. Unfortunately, we don't have enough funds to keep everyone on staff for the next year. The note goes on to list several teachers who were fired from their jobs. A fold labelled 2007. In a report from the construction company, upon demolishing the arts hallway, our workers found some videotapes hidden under the drama classroom floorboards. There was also strange furniture in the underground sewers. Please see the provided photos and let us know how to proceed. It's a newspaper that reads, More than a decade after the tragic fire at Sunnyside construction on the damaged areas of the school begins. It's a printed email between the principal and the superintendent. Principal Lee, I looked over the report from the construction company. If this gets out, parents will withdraw their students, leading to a loss of funding. The tragedy has done enough damage to our reputation. Tell the workers to destroy everything and get rid of these photos. The last folder is labelled 2012. 
The newspaper clipping reads, Sunnyside High celebrates the completion of new facilities. It welcomes its largest class of students since 1990. I can't click on anything else here, by the way. Unless I can, let me just try one more time. Nope, nothing else. You shouldn't be in here, Vivian. Hi. Via the spotlight. That's it. That is Fear the Spotlight. Very good. Add out of 10. It's better than Guilt, and Guilt has like five times the budget of this. At least. Maybe even more. <laughs> So yeah, pretty pretty crazy really. But yeah, I mentioned you can like put on the TV filter and make the textures wobble. See, that's what it looks like with full wobble. You can see the textures vibrating. I would be violently ill, I'm gonna be honest with you, but still. That is uh, that is what it looks like if you turn it on. Anyway, 